some of you guys, even though you know, if you just follow this process, if you just follow from the, the picking the niche, building the list, all the way to the end to closing the deal, you know exactly what's going to happen. You're going to get a deal, okay? But here's the problem, is some of you guys have gotten lackadaisical, okay? I think that's how you say it, lackadaisical. Pretty sure. Yeah. Some of you guys have gotten lackadaisical and the piece that I've seen the most, because guys, I, I talk to people, I I'm messaging. I, I don't think you guys understand how much time we spend like at, between me and fix it and all the admin, you guys have no idea how much time we spend messaging people. Okay. We're finding out like, you know, where are people getting hung up? What's going on? Where are you getting stumped? All these different things. So I, I have a pretty good pulse, not to mention I do a coaching call every single week with one of you guys. And I always find, so I get to find out what's going on, okay? And there's been a common trend that I've seen come up and I want to address it and I want to talk about it today, okay? And, and what I've noticed is that of all the steps, okay, some of you guys, if not all of you guys, or most of you guys have started to get lackadaisical with the setup, okay? Uh, module six, the setup, the setup. Now, if you're new and you haven't been there yet, shout out to Danny boy, the setup. Okay. I stole the name from him. The setup. If you guys can see that, that's where I got the name. Okay. Have not finished that book. Pretty good so far. Haven't finished it. Stole the name from him. I want to talk about the setup and, and you guys you're getting lackadaisical and you're starting to lose deals that you shouldn't be losing, okay? There are deals that you guys are losing because I'm, I'm messaging you. I'm, I'm reading the comments. I'm looking at the posts. I'm, I'm, I'm listening and I'm interpreting the questions you are asking, okay? And I wanna remind you, when you guys have a, a, an issue in your sale, okay? And I'll, I'll just diagram this so I can show you, okay? When you guys have an issue with your sale, if you're, if you're missing, if there's a step, like if, if, uh, if you're not closing, cause I hear a lot of people they're talking about, I'm not closing this. What do you guys do? What do you say to this? I couldn't close this guy. This is, you guys think it's the close. It ain't the fucking close. Okay. It's not the problem. Let me show you something really cool. Okay. Let me show you this little diagram and I'm going to, I'm going to just show you. And this is the same thing. We talked about this in the, in version 1.0 of the training. Okay. Um, we talked about this with ads. So I'm going to make a little diagram. Okay. Okay, so this is the sales cycle. Let me see if I can move my screen so you guys can see this. This is my artwork here. Okay, so if this was a, a little circle, we've got prospecting at the top, okay? And then let's say sending leads, okay? And then we got the, uh, let's see, setup. And then we got the close. This is just basic, okay? So, we got, we got prospecting, we got sending the leads, we got the setup, and we got the close. And I know I missed a couple of steps from the training, but I'm just talking about the sales steps, okay? So if we got these steps right here. All of you guys, I see the questions, I, I see the, the comments and everything. You guys are losing deals, right? And you guys think you're doing something wrong in the close. Maybe I'm not following the script. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I'm not saying this. And you guys think that if, I, if you have this fancy one-liner or you get better at overcoming objections or these things, it's going to increase your close. Let me tell you something, okay? If you have a problem, okay, with the close, it's usually not a problem with the actual close. If you've got a problem here, if you're losing deals here, it's usually one of the steps before, okay? So if you guys are not closing, it's usually because you're skipping the step right before. Sometimes it has to do with a step, a step or two back, okay? But what I'm seeing is if you guys are having a problem with the close, you need to look at your setup. And you also need to look at how you're sending your leads and how you're prospecting because there's a good chance you're fucking up the way you're sending the leads. You're getting lazy. You're not doing the live transfer. You're not saying it correctly. You're spooking them, whatever. Or you're just not prospecting the right people. But from what I've seen from how like training people doing thousands of these calls, doing calls every week, just like you guys in, in, in actual lead gen calls, you guys have an issue right now. And most of you guys are not closing deals because you're fucking this up. Okay. This is where all the fucking magic happens. If you guys noticed, 
in the training in version 1.0, and you're going to notice this in version 2.0. I spent all this time on version, uh, sorry, I spent all this time on the setup, like tons of time on the setup. And then we get to the close setup. And I think all you guys think it's going to be this long ass module. And I'm like, get on the call, follow the script, fucking close the deal, right? Like that's about what it is. This, my friends, is where the deal is closed, okay? And I want to remind you, before I, I drop the link, because I'm going to have a couple of you come on. I want to remind you guys that if you do the setup correctly, your close will be easy. If your close is not easy, you're not doing the setup correctly, okay? Just like when I did door-to-door -door sales, I learned this very early on. When I dealt with the objections at the doorstep, okay? When I, I delivered my pitch and the homeowner was like, oh, we can't afford it. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And they started to hit me with objections. If it was easy to get in the door, it was hard to close at the table, right? I knew the objections were coming. If the doorstep was hard and I overcame the objections and I got in the house still, I was closing that deal, okay? So it's the same thing. You guys are not going to avoid objections. You're not, like you're just not going to. So instead of us sitting back and playing defense, if you guys wanna have easy closes, if you guys wanna have a 100% close ratio, like no shit, you guys can attain that. You just need to focus on the setup. Your setup of all the pieces of the puzzle, if you can dial in your setup, that will have the greatest, that will have the, the like literally the most impact on your ability to close. Okay. So we're going to talk about the setup. And I just want to remind you as of a couple of things. The objections, number one, the objections are always the same. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're selling dog shit, if you're selling ice, it doesn't matter if you're selling software, SEO, or freaking uh, 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 shit. I don't know. Anything. Doesn't matter. It's always the same. Okay. Uh, let's go through a couple of them. I need to think about it. Okay. That's one we always hear. I've been hearing that for years. I need to talk to my spouse, business partner, goldfish, Jesus, blah, 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 right? Need to talk to somebody. Um, I don't trust you. And they're not going to say I don't trust you, but they're going to say something else. They're going to say I'm too busy or some other bullshit reason because most people aren't going to go, well, I just don't trust you. They're going to say, hey, do you have any references I can talk to? Or like, uh, do you have any reviews or like some bullshit like that, right? Um, let's think of some other ones. Um, the price. Ah, it's just too much money, man. Like, I, I just can't justify that. Like, that's an objection. Price objection, right? Contract. Oh, that's cool. Like, I, I'm in, but I don't want to do a contract. I don't want to be locked into anything, okay? And on and on we go. And guys, I'm telling you, doesn't matter what you sell. I don't care if you, you, you decide to not do this business in 10 years, or maybe you crush it and uh, you have, you know, all the money in the world to just go do whatever. And you start a jewelry store. You have the same fucking objection. They're going to wonder when they buy that diamond, is this legit or is this fake, right? Can I buy this without my spouse here? Can you get that? Can you create urgency or do they need to talk to four different people on their goldfish and say a prayer, right? It's the same stuff. So let's just learn it once and for all right here, okay? So, and guys, in 2.0, which is coming out, uh, and we just talked about that at the beginning. For those of you that didn't see it, go rewatch it with all the details. I go in a little bit more detail in the setup. And what I do in that is I give you guys, we go through each of the objections. Okay. And I give you a PDF printout of all the objections and then the way that I overcome the objection. Okay. Guys, take the time to do this. Take the time to figure out how to overcome the objection before it becomes an objection. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, you're like, what the hell is the setup? Cause you haven't got there yet. Guys, if you bring something up first, and you handle it up front, there is going to be, it's going to be a hundred times easier and it's not going to be a deal breaker.